The Kent County Sheriff's Office is investigating after thieves cut catalytic converters out of cars over the weekend. It happened again at an office on the East Beltline. It's part of a staggering uptick in catalytic converter thefts happening in our area. And News 8's Whitney Burney has more on why that car part is being targeted. This is where the King County Sheriff's Office says those five cars were hit over the weekend. Police say as easy as it is to get the part off of the car is difficult to track down afterward. Yes. Yeah, Pretty fresh cut pipe under there. A total of five cars had to be sent to the shop after they were left in a lot at Visiting Physicians Association on East Beltline. Thieves targeting them for catalytic converters. The metals that are contained in the catalytic converters are what uh, drive the theft. So the thieves will cut the catalytic converters off, they'll bring them to a scrapyard and try to sell those for profit. Sergeant Eric Brunner with the Kent County Sheriff's Office says this particular crime saw a 700% rise since 2020. Last year it happened 246 times in the county. This year it's happened 151 times already. It is not lost on us the impact that this crime has on the victims financially and the frustration because they're they're out of pocket over a thousand dollars most cases. Jeff Schaefer with Pfeiffer Collision says the pricey repair can also mean drivers are without a car for a few days. Catalytic converters are to help with the emissions going out into the atmosphere. Um, so all of the metals inside are helping it burn off before they go out into the atmosphere. But if they are cut off, the car would be just ridiculously loud, like you would know right away. And certain cars can be more vulnerable. It's the Honda Element, the Toyota Priuses, the Ford F-150 EcoBoost. Some of these are like really high dollar and they're highly accessible. So those are also ones targeted. So if you have a vehicle like that, you just want to consider where you're parking, where you're going to be at. Police say because the park doesn't have a VIN number, they're hard to track down once lifted. They're asking people to keep an eye out for thieves. We need your eyes and ears, so when you see something out there that's suspicious in and around vehicles, please call us. In Grand Rapids, Whitney Burney, News 8.